Yo, what's up everybody? Ari in the air here, Paraglide Pilot and YouTuber. I make videos right here on YouTube teaching you how to fly better. So if that's something you're into, make sure you subscribe. I can guarantee you won't regret it. Today we're here in Chiapas, Mexico at the third annual paragliding festival, the fly-in. Everyone's here getting ready to launch. Today I'm going to give you some tips as to how you can be a bit safer as a pilot because it's really important. I'm kind of uh, crazy and like to do stupid things, so as I get older, I'm trying to survive this. I really love to fly, but I want to mitigate my risk as much as I can, so there's some really experienced pilots here, and I think they have some good wisdom for you, so let's take you around and we'll get you some, some wisdom. Ready? Here we go. See ya. más seguro antes de despegar revisar bien todo el equipo tu radio encendido tu spot tu reserva la manija 
reempacarlo cada seis meses como dice, o mínimo un año, este, kaitear, practicar bien los despegues y volar en zonas no tan comprometidas, es decir, no a los rotores, no a los cañones, valles, montañas, por laderas, pero con la distancia, una distancia apropiada, ¿no? Y eso, disfrutar, subir alto y disfrutar. Muy bien. Es todo. ¿Y Patty? ¿En español o inglés? Inglés. Ok. Uh, I would say that for me what is, has worked before is that whatever I want to accomplish, I got to put safety first. Like, uh, even though I want to fly far, I have to put like a safe landing first. Even though I really want to take off, I have to really see the condition and, and think about the safety first. So that's, that's what it's, has worked for me. Oh, well, I think um, um, paragliding is an excellent sport, but you have to do everything right. You have to do the first step, second step, third, third step. And I think um, if you do this sport with the perfect weather, with your equipment in good quality, and if you have the enough um, uh, preparation, Uh, I think that this is the good combination for do it safe. Perfect. Once I've, I've heard uh, an, an amazing advice, I don't remember from whom, it was a foreign pilot, old aged pi pilot, and he said, if you fly a wing one level below the level you consider you can fly yourself, you'll have an amazing amount of great flights. And I've been following that that advice since the very beginning and I'm still flying you know happily and passionate about it so yeah definitely I think it's it's the best ad advice I, I can just follow and, and, and share with people Perfect. yeah yeah whatever you want no just to fly more safe if you have a collapse look the horizon stabilize your body your hands and wait don't let the glider rotate okay that's simple horizon horizon your eyes on to the horizon and your body and hands is stable that's it okay yes well uh, in order to fly better or safer uh, you better uh, take into account your limits uh, you better um, if the wind is too strong for you but you better don't don't fly if you are in a, in a taking place in a competition uh, You just better uh, take a look at the weather, at to the, the the wind, and if it's too strong, you better don't fly. It, it's it's my recommendation. Okay, guys, there you have it. That's a lot of good tips from a lot of really experienced people, some of the best instructors in Mexico, some of the best pilots for sure. So, hope that helps. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you need any gear, you let me know. I can get you whatever you need and. Uh, We'll see you on the next episode. Fly safe.